Welcome back to GitHub with Git series and in this series you are going to learn about Git and GitHub with me Sardak on this channel called Bitsune. So if you are new consider subscribing for advanced tutorials of Laravel, Vue and much more and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So in this episode we are going to learn about the record changes in our Git system. So let's continue and I will call Jarvis to turn this page. So Jarvis do your job and here he is so in the last episode we have seen that if a file is already present in a repository and you have made changes in that file then that file is called modified file but if you create a new file that file is called untracked file because it's not in the knowledge of git so Javis again turn page okay and let's get structure of the git so you have this untracked file that means the new file and you will directly stage this okay then you have unmodified file obviously unmodified file will be modified or remains as it is so if this is remains as it is it will not going to the staged area but if you are if you have modified it you have added the file then you have to make it in the stage area then you will commit and after a staging area after you commit then every file is now considered as unmodified file because every file is in the knowledge of git so that's very nice so next so i will call Chavez turn the page and here he is and now we have seen obviously git status and the master branch which is default branch has it's not a, any um, having some advanced feature on this branch it's just a simple branch but default created by git next Jarvis turn the page and here we have now let's suppose you want to exclude any file to git so how will you do that so you have to create this git ignore file so I will go here and firstly I will delete this folder and create same folder once more so that I can show you from the starting and I will open terminal and let's git init here and we have created git init file that means that we have initialized git you can see dot git folder is here now what I will do I will firstly create a file called dot git ignore so touch dot git ignore and if you are on windows you can create it by right clicking and create new text file and call it dot git ignore okay so we have created this file let's open that file and here i will type dot php but we have to specify asterisk dot php okay so let's close this and now I will create one more file called index.php very simple and now let's check the git status so git status it says git dot git ignore file is there only which is untracked but you know and we also know that we have index.php also so why that index.php is not here when we are staging the file because we have specified to ignore every file having extension of .php so if I remove this save it and once again try to run git status you can see now it's having index.php file back to our staging file okay so this is the git ignore file in that case you can also specify any folder so let's say I have a folder called user and I'm moving that file from here to user folder and git status is now is that we have a git ignore file and user folder but we want to restrict the access for this user folder so I will say slash user and let's one more git status and you can see there is no more user slash folder here that's because we have included it inside dot ignore file so let's move on and call Jarvis to change the page and Jarvis not here so we have new command called 
git diff that means they're getting the difference between the files so what I will now do I will just clean up this git ignore file so that we have these things so I will git status we have two files now I will say git and I will say add all and then git dash commit and dash m to give the message so I will say initial commit and yeah we have new commit and now get a status clean let's create one more file called index.php inside our root file so we have two index.php one is outside this user folder one is inside this user folder so what I will do again I will do git status index.php is untracked that's good now git add all git status again yeah new file is added or ready to commit that means it is in the stage area now I will again commit with message say with new index.php file and yes so we have two commits so git log so we can see we have this commit and this commit the latest one first okay so what this git diff will do so I will say git diff and then I will specify these two commit and like this hit enter and yes you can see git diff is actually giving you the difference between these two uh, commits so this is a git diff so let's move on if you can see we can actually do this thing so if I open this and do something close that git status yeah okay and what I will do I will git I will say git add all then git commit instead of that I will say git then commit so commit dash a dash m and to show shorthand command hit enter and we have in a one line done two thing git add and git commit in a one row okay so this is very nice thing because in that case we don't have to do git add all like that things so next is removing or renaming file okay so suppose we have again changed something here so we have this file in our git status so git status we have this index.php modified but what I want I want to git move file from file 2 so git move and file is index.php and I will say uh, home.php so hit enter and let's see what's hap what happened here you can see it's actually renamed uh, yeah it's having mv called move but it's actually rename your file also okay so this is very nice and very easy way to rename your file from git obviously you can rename from other places but it's very nice okay so let's see what the next so Javis is back yay so Javis thank you for coming back but we have completed this video and if you have any doubt feel free to message me you can like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram support me on patreon.com it's a crowdfunding website you can support one dollar and above as you wish and you have to subscribe on youtube and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you will get notification about any uploads on this channel so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye